Ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, children of all ages, what is up? The king, the king of lightning is here today bringing you guys and gals bleach. Tate Kubo's. Say it with me now. Finest work. Chapter 674, live reaction. Now, here's the thing. I did not do the live reaction or review for the previous chapter last week. So what I'm going to do is that, because I can't, of course, do a live reaction for that chapter now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a review of all three chapters as soon as I can. This chapter, the previous chapter, and the chapter before that chapter, okay? So, that being said, let us dive into this chapter of Bleach. Father... Two, Ichigo is about to get his ass murked. Kurosaki Kun as Orihime runs towards her beloved Ichigo, and Ichigo right there in the corner, fucking decimated. Actually, it's leaving off where the previous chapter was. Boom, Yuha, yeah, oh, and that eye. Yeah, no, see, I'm not. No, no, just I, I can't get used to that. I honestly can't. It looks so weird. It really, really does. Like, it's some Bloodborne shit. Instead of being on the inside, it's eyes on the outside. Ichigo rushing in there, head first. And, I mean, this is something that I did notice in the previous chapter, but it's something that I really find a little bit irksome. This is something that is always reiterated when it comes to Ichigo. When he finished the training with the Royal Korkot squad, when he was falling down to Soul Society, one of the main things Ichigo pointed out was the fact that he had matured. But yet, at the end or middle of the previous chapter, Ichigo, he's like going in there head first because Yuha is talking shit about mom and pops. So it's kind of like Ichigo, he's matured kind of in the sense of his power rising, obviously. But at the same time, he still rushes in there head first. Then lo and behold, he's getting overwhelmed. Now, that being said, Yuha, he is a bonafide god in the Bleach verse. But still, it's like Ichigo, calm, cool, and collected. Maintain your composure. In the previous chapter, I'm like, bro, like, maintain your composure. Keep it nice and cool. But no, yeah, running in there. I'm like, dude. And here we have, once again, Orihime. Oh, wait, Kurosaki-kun. And he's still going, he's rushing in there without any qualms whatsoever. Charging in so recklessly and dragging that poor woman here with you. I mean, he's fucking right. Don't be so impatient. Oh, uh, yeah. Mr. Blech is on point today. And last week as well, he was on point. And Ichigo is just getting swarmed by darkness. Uh, you, you can't beat out the darkness, it's not ain't possible. Your body, your power, they were never yours alone to begin with, Ichigo. They've returned to their rightful owner, so spew out every last bit of your power and then die, Ichigo. And Ichigo, he's, I mean, right there we have would-be father and son, so Yuha just dominating Ichigo right now. Ichigo, I mean, that's what you get for running in their head first. But, I mean, actually, this reminds me of the last chapter where... <laughs> when I was reading the last chapter, and then you had you all going out like, I'm your real pops, all right? <laughs> like, it was so... And I'm like, fucking you all. Like, just, bro, chill with that shit. Like, it's funny. But it's vicious, where he's like tormenting Ichigo, and Ichigo, again, you would think, mature, calm, collected, you are, shut the fuck up, I don't believe a single word you're saying, I'm gonna make sure that me and Orihime, we're gonna have this nice tag team going on, I mean, Orihime, she seems pretty fucking useless now, because he's rushing in there, head first, no time for any shields to be up, in the previous chapter, she was cut in two by Yuha, I mean, she just seems, I mean, well, then again, is it that surprising? That Orihime is useless in Bleach? Oh, shocker. Fucking shocker. Either way, let me continue. Renji and Rukia. Just massive hand. I think it kind of like cut their path. So, okay. So since that's a hand, then this is good out of Valkyrie. Because my assumption here was if we didn't see the hands of that massive spiritual body, then that was probably the body of the Soul King. Where you have Perninda the left hand, Mimihagi Sama, the right hand, they are destroyed. So the body would have no hands. But since we do see a hand, I'm going to assume now that this is Gerard Valkyrie. He he's still 
in action, which is insane. Freaking Valkyrie is clearly way more powerful than Perminda or Nakhlevar. Or, well, mm. Yeah, yeah, I would say Baro too. Yeah, why not? Why not? And Byakuya was the one that just saved or just grabbed. I don't know if he saved them or not, but he definitely grabbed Rukia and Renji. Okay, so he's saying go and join up with Ichigo. Why? That thing is on Yuha's level. Valkyrie! That's a bold statement. A bold statement like that need some very very strong evidence of that statement sir i haven't even seen like yuha display i think like godly godly powers but get out of valkyrie that's whoa it's, mm, mm, mm. he blocks an attack by get out of valkyrie i'm not implying that kurosaki needs your strength i'm saying that i have no need for either of you here if i finally made myself clear you're excused ha huh. so he did that to protect them because god is so powerful he can't guarantee their safety, according to what Hitsugaya is saying, pretty much. I don't know if you ever attended Spiritual Arts Academy, but at the Academy, we weren't taught to fight for our superiors or our families. To the best of their abilities, all Shinigami protect all their friends and humans with their lives. So there's a chance that this Academy, the Spiritual Arts Academy, is a subsidiary Academy of the Troll Academy. And then the fodder tier, like Hitsugaya, they go here. Okay, all right, fair enough. <laughs> fodder tier. <laughs> but those two, they're Korosaki Ichigo's close friends. So I'm guessing here that this is like alluding to like some pairing stuff where it's like Rukia is Ichigo's close friend, where Orihime is like in the future gonna be, you know, like Ichigo's would be mate. That's my guess. And Renji and Rukia may because actually those two, have, yeah, Renji and Rukia have always had a thing. That was always, I think, more, eh, you know, fuck it. You know what? I don't even care. It's pairings. Moving on. Hashvald and Uryu. And Hashvald just standing over Uryu because Hashvald, he's just goddamn better. It's that simple. Even you, the you that was built up from your choices on your scales of right and wrong. That is the you I cannot see. I want to say, like, this is interesting, but... Uh, 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 no, no. Who is the real? Ish I mean, unless he has some kind of secret or something. Hold on, let me continue reading. Actually, who is the real Ishida Uryu? You ask. How could I possibly answer something as vague as that? And then he Quincy bows up, which is I think a new Quincy bow. I I honestly don't. No, I'm pretty sure it is because this is more of an X shape. A new Reishi bow that Uryu has for some odd reason. I don't know why, he just has it. Didn't use it until now or something. The truth is, I won't know the answer either until I see all of you drop like flies. So that's how it is. Okay, so there's some type of pendant or coin or something like that. With like some kind of star symbol, I think. I think, it, well, I can't tell. And you guys can't tell based on this. Okay, there you go. Yeah, it looks like a star of some kind, of like or swords that are crossing each other from all angles. Then we see a foot, obviously. This was rather unexpected. I never imagined this portal we used decades ago would still be in working order. Thanks to his quick wits, he used it to escape back when he was exiled. Daddies are a little, just a wee little bit late to this party. Definitely late to this party. Are you serious? Okay, well, at least they're here. I'll give them at least that much credit. Ryukin especially. Where the fuck have you been, bro? Like, dude. Indeed, it's the one and only time I've ever been grateful for my father's sticky-fingered habits. Of course, we know that Ishida loves his granddaddy. And his granddaddy got some pretty fucked up treatment by Myri. And here he is, Ryukin, just talking smack about Pops. Sticky fingered habit. And yet that sticky fingered habit is apparently why you're here. Speaking ill of your own father, and you always wondered why people called you a bad son. There we go. There we go. 
Is there a next page after this? Let me see. Is that it? Ishin and Ryuken? Uh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So let me show you Ishin and Ryuken. So the daddies are in town. You, sir, have some explaining to do. You, sir, have so much explaining to do. It would take a year-long arc just to explain every fucking detail. This man right here. What the fuck? Have you been doing, Ryuken? Yuha, your son, all this shit going down. You're a Quincy, and yet you did nothing up until this point in time. Sir, you have so much explaining to do. It will be like a 500-page novel. All right, so I'm done. King Lightning, rate the video, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace! Have a nice goddamn day, and, and I will see you guys for the three-chapter review. Have a nice one.